so I've watched the Apple event the other day. And before I say anything else, I just want to mention that I'm an all-time Apple fan and I have all their toys. I have and will be using the iPhone regardless of what I'm about to say. But looking at what Apple presented last Tuesday, I couldn't help thinking that iPhone 15 is not really much different than the iPhone 14 and the 13 and the 12 and 11. Same body, same software, same everything. Well, at least the way it looks and feels. Yes, they've been upgrading the cameras every year. Marginal improvements to the chip. Added USB Type-C this time. Only because they had to. And they keep on selling the same phone year in, year out. Rebranding it as something completely new, better than anything we've ever shown. And I really like this phrase. You can basically apply it to anything without ever having to face any consequences. Because today, this exact day, is nothing like ever before only because you can't turn back time, and not because there is something special about today. I hope you get the point. It might sound like I'm judging Apple, but in fact, quite the opposite. You see, one of my good friends that had been using the iPhone for over 10 years had texted me right after the presentation saying that he will probably switch to Android, sick and tired of the same old story, want to try something new, want to have a choice among the different designs, colors and options. I had never considered this since I bought my first iPhone 3GS back in 2009. And as he mentioned switching to Android for whatever reasons, I gave it a lot of thought and frankly speaking got terrified. And let me tell you why. You remember how the phones evolved. First it was just a telephone that could make a buzz noise when somebody's calling you. Then SMS was introduced. Then they added cameras, internet. First communicators that made you feel like you are carrying a personal computer in your pocket. Social networks, online messengers, they got faster, displays got bigger, higher resolution. It was the industry and standards formation. An exciting time, but it's long gone. The technology is mature, a smartphone is just a commodity, it's just another piece of plastic that serves as a gateway to the world of social networks, messaging and entertainment. And basically any one of them can do all these things. The discovery process had finished about half a decade ago and now people, well at least from my point of view, should have moved on with their busy lives. We're all connected and our ideas, words and messages travel around the world at the speed of light, 100 times a day. And the expectation or the result people achieve using the phone, like sending a message, is important in the outcome, not in the process. Process is important too, but not in a sense of ever-changing workflow or the new feeling that you get when you send that email, but in simplicity. All this communication has become so natural that when you want to send a picture to one of your friends, you don't want to spend much time doing it. Now back to the phone you have in your hand. In my case it's iPhone 13. And the last thing I want to do when I buy a new one is trying to figure out how things work. It has grown into my hand to the point where all the buttons, swipes and options are controlled on a reflex level. They're always in the same place. And this is exactly what I need from a commodity device. No, it does not reflect my personality. It does not make me feel special. It's just another piece of glass and metal that enables communication. That's it. Of course, it has to be fast, have a good screen and enough memory to deliver on this experience. But from my point of view, these are all basic requirements. Any manufacturer at the top of their lineup has one that falls under this description. An iPhone is no compromise. I've been switching between the top models, skipping one generation between purchases, and every time I got what I expected. Whether it's iOS or Android that you're used to, if you are considering to switch platforms, think about all the hustle to move all your contacts, set up a new app store and buy all the apps you already have. Figure out the menus and shortcuts, lose the connectivity with your ecosystem if you have one, figure out the new cloud storage plans and streaming services each platform has to offer. I don't want to do any of that. I'm glad the iPhones don't change much. Yeah, evolution, ultra wide band, better cameras, but I can confidently say that every year it is just the same phone. You don't need to adapt and you really shouldn't have to adapt to a commodity. Of course, if this is a part of your job or you're genuinely interested in these sorts of things, this is fine, but if you have other things to do, figuring out how basic things work all over again just doesn't make any sense. For me, sending a message, launching an app, starting a timer and other things I do using my phone should happen instantly. I don't wanna spend more than a split second doing these things. If you're in your 30s, Chances are that during the workday, sometimes you don't have the time to use the restroom. 
let alone spending the time on something that's the least bit important. What I'm saying, regardless of the brand, smartphone is just a tool. And as long as it lets me connect to the world without unnecessary hustle, I'll keep on using the same tool over and over again until something really changes. I follow tech news and I'm excited about the new interfaces that are yet to come, like Vision Pro or something along those lines. And when the next big thing arrives, I'll make a choice and adapt. But until then, this thing has exhausted its potential for change.